Into <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the match. My audio files out there don't appreciate it, Tafo. Oh, is the jump read? No. He, he keeps a good position. Tafo could have gone straight to the edge. There he goes. Now he's safe. It's harder for Marth to uh, cover the edge sometimes if Sheik yeah, uh, sweeps I don't Marth. like that dash attack with the low percents. I also don't like the strike by the Sheik at all. Yeah, no, this is this is where I think Marth should counter. This Sheik. is like actually Marth's best stage. You can take, you can, uh, she can't move on platforms to get in. And when you put her in the air, she has a hard time getting down. Maybe Tafo knows something we don't. He knows about these needles. He knows about the dash about through that. forward smash. Okay, so let's talk about for that that for a second. Why does Tafo Kins go for dash through forward smash? First of all, most of troll. us don't. Yeah, he's a troll, and most of us don't really know why. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but it actually can be sort of good, especially if they shield it. Oh and snap! They you got around the Marth killer. Oh yeah, I did. That was sick. That's sick. I like that. I, uh, that was sick. Um, not that time. Not that time. Uh, but like when they shield it. It's very hard to punish that mm -hmm. well, right? When you go for a down air, it actually won't work, for example, right? It looks like you get you, get, you shield the first hit uh, and you go for a down air or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or the second hit and you go for a down air. And they'll, and they'll they actually put again? The yeah, and they'll actually put the shield up in time. The actual punish is take the first hit of Forest Smash on shield, spot dodge, let the Sheik go in front of you, and then grab. That's the true punish on the on the Forest Smash. I didn't know there was a counter to Forward Smash. Trust me, you play Tavikins enough. And I guess you have to know. And you figure it out, and it's. I, I'm sad that I know. I agree. So Pete, this is what people talk about as a Marth problem a lot, which I don't agree with necessarily. But uh, Gibson Zero gotten a lot of grabs at high percent, like this one, Up and throat. he's not been able to uh, get another hit afterwards. Well, there he there he gets a hit. Yeah, but he's done it several times. Down air on the way down. Down air or needle. That's like their only things. Uh, there's not much you can do when you're sheik in the air. Honestly, yeah. you can't drift too far. Your aerials are big, but they hit in the side more. Oh, he, and I thought he had that read. And Gibson tried to uh, predict she could fall down with an aerial. Tafo just jumped, and so the yeah. conversion was lost. Are the low percents when you think she's going to fall down with an aerial? You can just shield okay. it and shield grab it, honestly. This is a good punish. I'm not sure. Down I think air. maybe. A okay, this all works. Sure, Tafo, whatever. Tafo Kins rolls in. Uh, he had to grab that air dodge. It was right in front of him. That single needle, or those few standing needles that Tafo Kins does, they're good for. A B? Oh, that could have been a spike! I was hype. <laughs> I get hyped about Mars stuff. Yeah. So uh, that is actually one of Mars Gibson's match. We still don't see many people doing it. Is that on the DI ways after the four throw, you can dash off, uh, fast fall in, and up B, and that uh, that ends up catching uh, the Sheik a lot. It's a lot of throw uh, gip opportunities that Mars don't really seem to know the setups for. And so after that first whiffed uh, up air that we saw um, Gibson do. He Tafikins had to jump, and then he could, and then Gibson could have gotten another up air, and he tried for it, and he missed. But the difference maker right there is huge for Marth, and that's what makes the stage so, so good. So speaking about the setups again, we saw a down throw on the left side. Pay attention to that DI again. I want you guys to rewind and watch that. Uh, that is a wave dash off back air percentage that he could have gotten. Okay. Like true combo, straight up. No one does that right now. Uh, it would help a lot. And that is also That's a one of the things I want Sheiks to do more. Uh, when you see that sort of uh, slight DI behind, maybe full DI behind, by the Mars, you can just turn around, up smash. Don't overcomplicate. You don't have to jump cancel. Just do that up smash and uh, that's Marth's, a kill. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That'll kill him at you know 85, 87, something yeah, like it's, that. Yeah, it's nuts. It's very unfortunate. Okay, uh, he's got Tafo at high percent now. So Gibson has Tafo cornered. Out of, okay, gets down the smash covers all the, uh, sure. the options. The edge Grab the ledge and then neutral air. Perfect. And Tafo uh, maybe held down to try and get down to get his double jump, but he ended up DIing uh, the Nair very far away as yeah. a result. So the double jump won't save you then. Yeah, I mean, that, that was pretty much a checkmate situation, I think. And that was uh, great by Tafo running forward into the crouch cancel we saw again, and he, got, he almost was able to get a kill off of it. A lot of down tilts. Tafo's probably going to try to jump over them with those forward airs. That's up smash. Once again, the same spot. That must, he has a zero. It must suck. You know, you're getting the Sheik to you know, 150 <laughs> plus, and yeah. they're grabbing you at uh, 80 or whatever. so hard. But again, you, Mar as Marth, you can DI uh, away, and you and you won't get hit by that. Jeez. It's a grab the ledge. Oh, no. But he wiggles out and goes for the media down there. Very nice. Uh-oh. Don't this swing is, out. Is, yeah. This is looking like better. Tapokens is punishing better as the match has gone on. He got clipped by the needles. If he just kept drifting down and didn't double jump, he didn't have he, he could he could survive that. The mm -hmm. needles end up clipping him. Yeah. And I think if you pressed A at the end of that screen and you looked at the stats, 
you would have seen that Gibson Zero did probably at least 100 more damage to Tavokins over the course of that match. Oh, yeah. And Tavo still won because he got the hits that mattered. That's efficiency right there. Yeah. Uh, that's also the matchup, right? Uh, that, that is, that's part of it. Uh, I think that when the Marth, like, like uh, Gibson Zero was doing, refuses to grab the ledge, That'll happen even more because oh, he yeah. didn't go into those mechanical uh, option coverage uh, edge guards that we're, tip we're used to seeing. <laughs> Tavikins runs across the whole stage. Not sure if that was that was an extended uh, forward smash <laughs> turnaround forward smash bait. No one knows. Got to keep him in the corner good, here. Good corner pressure. Uh, throw, read the jump. No, he's gonna go for immediate forward at that time. And, and then he clips him with a walks forward, forward. He needed to walk forward last time. Yeah, we saw earlier that Tavikins drifted toward the edge. Oh man, these up smashes hurt. But again, yeah, they, all, they only hurt so much because it's better than getting KK combo, right? <laughs> yeah. So you'll take those up smashes. Oh, oh and the, oh, Marth, the Marth, Marth Killer! The Marth Killer killed you by Marth. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm of the belief that Marth Killer is not even that good. Most positions where you can do it, you'll, you have the time to do something better. So sure. I think there are situations where it is a. Yeah, is there's a some. Play. There is some yeah. situations where it's good, but. The DIY, uh, not much you can really do right there. You're just dead no matter what. The Sheik reacts appropriately. Ooh, that's not a smart shield grab by Gibson Zero because Needle on Shield is usually very good for Sheik. So but it works out for him. And Gibson Zero keeping advantage ever since that first up throw. Forward smashes through an invincible Sheik, loses the advantage. And that, I wanted to talk about that Needle real quick because that interrupts Mart's dash dance, makes him say, I can't just sit here and wait for you to do something. I have to at least do something uh, initiate. And uh, that's actually pretty good. Down air and soft back air, so he won't and get that, the stock. Oh, might be a repeat of the last stock, but not quite. Up throw goes for Ian back air. Tipper back air, that's good because that puts Tavikins farther off, so he has yes. to be on stage. That Tipper versus not Tipper was very close to being a big deal. So because he had the Tipper back air, he could loop the edge guard and get the kill. That's a big deal. That, that's the edge guard that uh, Gibson Zero was missing the, the first game. You know, no, he, he needed stuff like this. Earlier. Immediate downer? No, okay, well, he was thinking about it. But he's holding his position well. They both jump and look at each other for a minute. Sheik's fair is faster. Zero's got to be careful. Get him up tilts. No jump. Oh, and he had it in, a, in the best spot possible. He had Sheik in literally the juiciest spot possible. Mm -hmm. And didn't what, get the coverage. What happens right there is you just need to short up and you can drift with Sheik. And then you can put the up. Uh, oh. oh. Or you could just do that. Oh. <laughs> that was dirty. Oh. Slice. Slice. As they, as they say oh, in the in tri state. Yeah. Yes. Man, we need. We need moon co more moons. moon commentary. Moons. More, yeah. <laughs> Taking the jacket off, he said. Of course. That combo was too hot. Too hot. <laughs> He's feeling himself, dude. Tavigan says, Take I'm not off. impressed. It's just FD. Now, now it's my turn. Well, I mean, <laughs> game one was FD, too. That's true. That's uh, true. I think uh, we're going to see a Dreamland ban, so we're going right. to see. And it's hard for Sheik sometimes to figure out where to go here. But Battlefield's Battlefield's a good choice, yeah. Yeah, I think Battlefield is the correct choice. She can move around on platform as well. Platforms into the yeah, <laughs> but Tapo comes right into the ground and gets grabbed. She can move well on platforms, uh, which is good against the up throw. But mm -hmm. generally, I mean, it's, it's a very grounded matchup, right? I think that she can actually make a lot of opportunities from platforms. Oh, uh, okay. I think uh, Marth will struggle knowing when to deal with falling uh, fair and back here. But I don't, I don't think Tapakins is the type of player that's going to mess around with that too much. I think he's going to use platforms more as a get off me or like a let's reset the situation. Fourth and throw. That was, and Dapa gets DI'd in. That should have been a tippered forward smash. So I love the use of down smash on the fourth throw tech chase against Sheik. Sheik's uh, tech rolls very long, which is actually kind of good for Marth because his range is so hard and so big with the down smash that he can cover multiple options with it. And I will say, uh, over the course of the set, Gibson Zero looks like his punishes have picked up. Tavikins getting a... Oh. Oh, that looks like it worked. Yeah, maybe. I think Tavikins was slow there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a tech flub, and then Tavikins responds with a forward smash. So there was, uh, there was some goofiness right there. And Gibson Zero is attacking too late on the FB. That's why you're not seeing him get the punish, even though Sheik is not poofed yet. This is reminding me of game one, where Tavikins lives to such high percentages. Gibson Zero got to remember to hit him in the right directions. Be careful here, the forward air, yeah! So you don't usually want to jump to try and get around Martha on the edge, you want to stay grounded. There's the forward smash. I can't believe you can crouch cancel the first hit of that at, you know, at 120 something. Yeah, so <laughs> the move's just not very good. Dash attack, very laggy move for Marth. Uh, not something I usually suggest Marth use. It's be a and big punish. Up, 
He got punished for it a little bit, didn't get killed. Media forward air? Yeah! So now we're seeing the punishment change. We're actually seeing Gibson Zero punish way harder than Tapikins off of an average conversion now. And I think that's I think it's making a difference. And I even though the I edge think guards, man. The edge guards. And that should be the stop. Another opening. And he gets the kill. Good job, Tapikins. I mean, if he cleaned up that edge guard, we'd be talking about a full stock lead here. Yes, we would. We still might. Okay, we got Juggles. He needs to come. Gibson Zero needs to come forward just a little bit more. He's been a little reluctant. To yeah, if he goes down on the ground and just covers with up tilt and forward tilt, like, mm -hmm. she can't do that much. He doesn't need to reach like this. Grab the ledge, dude. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an edge grab. I, <laughs> just I grab the ledge. I didn't say anything because I was thinking, go, <laughs> go, go, grab the ledge. Oh, and that's still? Okay. okay. So DI, DI in. in. You want to, you want to uh, no DI right there so that you can't get followed up. Yeah. Uh, the reason why you don't want to DI away is because, like we said, that Mark can go all the way out there with things like up B and forward air and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, DI in will get just hit. So you have to go for... And she's See, you can't go for that down air. It's very hard to punish on shield. <laughs> it's got a lot of shield stun. You got to spot dodge. I'm telling up you. B? Oh, up B? Oh, up air combo. Yeah. Now... Tafikins, to his credit, has been, he lifted like 170 the first stock and 215 this stock. Yeah, he's done well, but, you know, he's just getting, he's gotten punished much harder, so it's not been as bad for him. doesn't mean that much. Yeah, Tafikins grab combos and smash up are just not good enough. Like, let's let him out. Ooh. D tilts. Oh. No shield grab. Once again, we see Gibson Zero able to play very well in the corner, putting out hitboxes. Tapikins trying to challenge uh, directly on the ground a lot of time. We're attacking right out of that. Man just doesn't want to grab edge, but it's okay that time because Tapikins doesn't go for the edge anyway. I think if Tafo was able to get a longer edge dash into an F tilt or maybe a jab or like a retreating short up near back to the edge, I think he would see some more success if he was uh, if he was sitting there. So far, Gibson Zero has been uh, poking him really well. So we see top platform. This is where Mark moving wants around. to be, man. Well, he can't get much of a conversion, especially at uh, zero. So Tapo feels more safe there. I think that's fine. But he's getting stuck in. Tapo's getting stuck in his shield. Gives the zero happy to take the grabs, the punishes. Look at this corner control. The stage position. Oh, wow. oh that worked. So Gibson zero now getting all the neutral conversions. Tapikins, um, often standing in place and then dash attacking out, so uh, bursting out of a spot. You need to be more mobile than that to trick a Marth player, because even though your movement isn't great, you still have to you still have to trick him, put put him in lag. And Tapo has been struggling with that more and more as the match has gone, and his Gibson Zero has punched harder. And it's looking like Jeez. I think that's supposed to be a down tilt. And he fell through the platform. I want to see the damage given, damage taken out of this match. They have crossed each other up so many times, and I think if instead. Uh, Tafo had been able to like do his grab a little bit earlier. I think that would honestly have changed a lot. Uh, these edge guards are extraordinarily frustrating for me to watch. If he loses this match because he's missing like some of the simplest edge guards I've seen, I, I man, come on. But he had a good weak nair conversion into a no, kill. No, dude, there. his his neutral game has been impeccable, which is what makes sad to me. Like <laughs> he's doing all the hard stuff, right? So Tafo did a smart thing, went back to the edge. Marth had a good position. And he came on stage, but he spot dodged instead of trying to do another action. And so Gibson Z was able to punish him. All right, grab the ledge. And that's it. Thank you. That's it. There's nothing <laughs> she could have done there. Well fought win, Gibson Zero. On average, uh, out punished. And uh, at, least, at least towards the end. Yeah. And um, the neutral, as a result, I believe, of the uh, punish getting stronger also began to favor him. Tafo got more locked down, and also the stage being smaller caused Tafo to be locked down more, and the edge play wasn't as strong for Tafo Kent. So I think that all culminated yeah, in I mean, the win. He, the corner pressure, uh, I think uh, Gibson Zero had it locked down. Mm -hmm. I mean, he really he picked was, it up over the course of the set, too. Yeah. Like everything, like he was missing combos, uh, getting more stuck, more flubs, and he got more solid as things went along, and Tafo kind of.